Recipe Plan fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is my jungle and today I am showing you all my snake plants. The ones that are still alive anyway and talking about why I'm not buying any more. Like, possibly ever. Don't hold me to it though. Okay, so let me start out by showing you some of the ones that I do have in my collection. The first one I have here is my little baby whale fin, Sansevieria. Super cute. I think they call it a whale fin because the pattern kind of looks like the water reflecting like on the surface. Cute little baby whale fin that I got in a trade. And yeah, we're just waiting for her to like do something at some point in time. I like her because she's little and unique and I'm not mad at her at all. The next one that I have here I've had for quite some time and this is my San Severia, although they're technically recategorized as a Dracaena now, but don't freak out because San Severia is still technically accurate. It's just now been put into the Dracaena family, if that's a family, or the genus, and then this is like a subspecies. You know what? You girl, you call it whatever you want to call it, I don't care. I call them spider plants sometimes by accident and I don't know why. It just comes out of my mouth. I'm like, snake plant, spider plant, snake plant, spider plant, cat plant, cow plant. I don't understand. It's fine. Yeah, anyway, um, this is my Robusta. I think it gets that name because the leaves get like wider than the uh, Trifasciata. So this probably needs to be repotted because it's got all these babies taking up space, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so it's going to stay here. I got this one at Home Depot, I think, for like 10 or $12, almost two years ago probably now at this point. So, And then in this cute little hanging macrame, I have another one. It's a trifasciata, I think. It looks thirsty as hell because I haven't watered it in a while and it's wrinkly but it lives in here and it hangs in here because I can only really hang this in a lower light situation and this is the only plant that won't die in there so and I feel like having her in something beautiful will encourage me not to neglect it so the next one in my collection is my moonshine this one has lost a lot <laughs> but it's still going. She's okay. I like this one because of like the lighter green color on it. It's like a nice sage green. It almost looks like bluish next to other green plants and it's beautiful. I actually picked this one up at a grocery store for like really cheap. I just don't really have anywhere to put it. <laughs> we'll get there. And then I have a really big Sayuri, I think is how you say it, but she's not doing great because she's in the corner and I forget about her constantly. But I do have this cutting, like, let me step back so you can see it. Do you see this cutting? The water is disgusting, don't judge me. I need to change it. But yeah, I have another little leaf hiding behind her. They've got some pretty significant roots, even though this water is really, really gross. So I guess if it the other one dies, I at least have this one. And um, that is literally my whole entire collection. I used to have a whole bunch more. But I murdered them. And you might be like, Jackie, how on earth did you murder a snake plant? They're supposed to be like plants of steel. Really what it comes down to is the fact that I don't have space for them anymore. I've been making room for more Hoya and more Aeroids and they require more light and more humidity and it's kind of just like pushed these guys out because I'm like, oh, you know, you can just go over there in the corner and you'll be fine. The only trouble with putting it over there in the corner is that it's not fine because then I forget that it's over there in the corner and homie never gets any water or any love. And then I come back a few weeks later and it looks like this. I don't even know. I think this one was the something gold. It has like the yellow on the outside of the leaves. And uh, this is what it looks like now. So 
y'all wanted to know why I'm not buying snake plants anymore. I am fully capable of keeping them alive. I kept them alive for a long time, but I seem to have this issue where I either neglect them because I just don't care or I let them just sit there thinking that they're fine and then one day I'm like oh it looks wrinkly and I go and I water it and then the next day it's like rotted and I'm like but how did you rot with no water for that long and I'm honestly just over it because I'd rather have more space in here for more Hoya. That's really what it comes down to. I've turned into quite the Hoya addict. So yeah, I mean, there's definitely still a few on my wish list. Don't get me wrong. Definitely some more obscure ones like the variegated version of this one. And one day when I do have a larger space, because I am in an apartment, oh, it's falling over. I am in an apartment and um, most of my plants are in this room right here because I'm not really allowed to put them anywhere else so when I do have the space one day to kind of spread out and I have a little bit more space for plants I definitely would love to have some more Sansevieria I think they make beautiful statement pieces in a room I love their vertical element they don't take up space this way the way that a lot of aeroids can sometimes like my monstera deliciosa that just wants to take up the whole entire room and i'm like girl what are you doing like we can't do this i don't have space for you so i'm not hating on them like at all please don't get me wrong i love snake plants i think they are beautiful unique and they're supposed to be really easy to care for they do not require a lot of water you could tell this one i watered recently is nice and stiff you can tell that the other one I showed you was nice and wrinkly. See those wrinkles? She's a thirsty one. Probably because she's in terracotta. But really, honestly, I just want you to take away from this video, if anything, that it's not okay to put it in a dark corner and never water it because for some reason people love to tell you that these plants like low light and I have an issue with that because no plant wants low light. When they say low light they just mean don't put it directly in some harsh light, you know what I mean? They still want a decent amount of light and I think that's one of the mistakes that I've made with these in the past especially is just thinking that it would be okay for them to be in a darker spot and then you go and you water it and you think it's all fine and dandy and then you walk by it three days later and the whole thing looks like this and you're like what the hell happened but what happened was it's in a dark corner you gave it water it didn't have any sun or enough heat to from the sun or an artificial grow light to dry the soil so it ended up just sitting there and these are really 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 easy to rot no, I feel like nobody ever tells you that. These are so easy to rot. Less is more when it comes to these and do not be mistaken, they want light. They don't want bright direct light because they will burn, but they want light, girl. I mean, mine are just getting ambient light because I have like 50 grow lights in here. That's dramatic, I have four but they're scattered around the room so when they're all on even the plants that they're not directed at are still getting that ambient light because I do have a lot of mirrors and other things that are reflecting the light as well that's why it's good to paint your walls a lighter color too if you can because the light will actually reflect off of them better than a darker color in case you were wondering so a fun little trick that I like to do is putting a mirror behind some of your plants because this mirror actually helps all these plants here get light from this window. This window bounces the light off of there and then to these plants and then I actually have a grow light in this lamp here and that will bounce off and everything gets ambient light over there. So it's not pointed directly at any of my plants, but they all are benefiting from it and I have noticed differences in them since putting it there because that's probably like the darkest area of my room. 
So that's where the snake plants go to die. Because I'm always like, they'll be fine. If you want a plant that you can't murder, I highly recommend a more like foliage type of Dracaena. I have had one now for like two years. Let me try and get it down and show you. It's in a hanging basket, so I just kind of have to take the nursery container out. I've had this thing for like two years now. This was one of my first foliage plants. I didn't even know what it was when I bought it. That's how little I knew about plants. And let me tell you, I've put this thing in the darkest corners, in the most neglected spots. I have failed to water it, thought it was dead, was sure it was dying so many times. So many times like I've actively tried to kill this plant because it didn't want it anymore and now that it won't die it's even putting out all this new growth at the top do you see it look at how white that leaf came out it's freaking adorable it's got a new one here I can't even hate it anymore like and I don't hate it I just I wanted to get rid of it to make room for other plants but it won't die so if you're looking for a plant that you can't kill, I highly recommend this type of Dracaena over this one. This one, I don't know why. I'm more likely to kill it. Like, I, I neglect this one ten times more than this one, and this is what happened. I don't understand it. All I know is that if you want a plant that you can't kill, or you want to gift a plant to somebody that they can't kill. Like, look at it, it's filthy. I, it's, it's in a corner, like it barely gets any light. I hardly remember to water it. I'll throw like my, my water left over from the night before in there, cause it's right near my bed. I'm like, yeah, here you go. Here's my leftovers and it won't die. So if you're looking for something that you can't kill, I'd go with that one, Dracaena wise anyway. Though arguably I'd say that that is the hardiest plant that I have because I've actively tried to murder it and it won't die. So yeah, that is it for this video. Ooh, I don't know which one is my favorite. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. If you have snake plants, if you've murdered them, or if they thrive for you, tell us your secrets. Although probably not neglecting them in the corner is a good plan. I don't know why that's funny. Anyway, I love you fam, and I appreciate you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. And if you wanna support my channel, you can go on over and check out my Etsy. The link is in the description box. Give my shop a favorite. See if there's anything in there that you're interested in buying from me. And if not, I have a Venmo that is also linked right below the Etsy link. And you can donate to my channel there and help me just continue to make content for you guys. And any little bit is appreciated. If you don't want to do any of those things, you can just... Watch some ads if you want to support me, and obviously not if they're horrible, though. Please don't watch horrible ads on my behalf, but I appreciate you if you do, and um, yeah. I'm going to be doing another giveaway soon. I'm waiting for the weather to like not be a million degrees, because the plant that I have for you guys is a little bit more delicate, so... Definitely keep your eyes out for that because we're almost at 4k. Actually, by the time this video goes up, we'll probably have past 4k subscribers, but to celebrate, because I feel the need to do that at every thousand milestone that I do, I'm going to be doing another giveaway, so definitely stay tuned for that. Go over to my Instagram so you don't miss any announcements. I've been making more content over there, little reels and IGTV videos to kind of show you a little bit more of my collection in little bite-sized pieces. So you should do that and say hi, come chat, show me your plants. I like to talk about plants and I always answer my DMs. Like I might take a week to get to you, but I will answer you. So I appreciate you. I'm gonna go leave me a snake. See what I did there? 
A snake emoji. I don't know why I think I'm funny. It's not funny. I appreciate you for dealing with my rambling. I've been in the house for a little bit too long this week dealing with some health issues, but I'm okay. I just have been resting and unable to go anywhere, so I'm feeling a little, a little stir crazy, and it's, the energy is definitely showing itself in this video today, so. I appreciate you, fam, and I'm gonna go now and stop talking, so. Okay, bye! <laughs>